shocking reaction with no rest for some uh, commentators. We've got Korean ladies team coming on to the field of play. Korea versus the Ivory Coast. Korea in blue, wearing the blue tip protectors, blue head guard and blue uniform. The Ivory Coast wearing red tip protectors, red head guards and white gobot, white uniform. This is a yeah, I wonder if we're going to have a fairy tale story. Let me get Ivory Coast beat the world team champions of the females, overcome the powerhouse of Korea. Korean started off slowly against the Chinese opponents in the semi final, but picked them off. Very strongly, very determined, and came through there. Different sort of game here with the Ivory Coast. So that's about six players from the Ivory Coast. The five man team plus their the five woman team plus their reserve. With the bow. Before we get the match starters. Player space there, counterpart numbers. Go to shake hands. The match is ready to get underway and they're starting. There's no caution here, they're both starting off from the kicks. Ivory Coast leading in. Can it come back there? Korea goes high. Appeals for the headshot. He gets it late. It's a little bit slow to register, she was appealing, but there's no video replay, so. Nice counter back kick underneath, strong the body. Not awarded. You can imagine Korea just going to wait, wait for their African opponents to make a few mistakes and then pick them off. Don't take any Andrew Rest attacking. We know the Ivory Coast team can exchange with them. They've seen that with France. Seconds now, this opening part of round one. Pretty cutting into the body, no point, but nice range, nice speed and technique. Both players out, number twos are in. Straight into action, moving forward. The attacks off the back leg, Guy Ivory Coast will counter, no points registered. So good support from this Mexican crowd. What an amazing atmosphere now here in Caratero, Mexico. This event again will be in Mexico next year. However, it'll be in the capital of Mexico City. Both oh, the headshots. Top hand same time. Both claiming we got the headshots. Both given. No, Korea didn't get theirs. Korea only no. got Congo. No, that's right, sorry. Disappointing there for the Koreans. I thought that scored, Luke. Yeah, I thought they got one each there. Uh, judges decided separate, differently. And it's now a closer game. Korea goes high again. Nice cut underneath. The point player there frustrated that the head got didn't score. score. Explosive start to the third part of this first round. This is the last match of the World Take Combo Team Championships here in Coachella, Mexico. The women's teams, Korea versus Ivory Coast. This is the first round of three. High scores. Korea cutting it fast to the body. Just to remind anybody watching that this is JSS or judging scoring system. 
Though the athletes are wearing the PSS scoring system, we had some technical problems which delayed us this morning. As a result, it's the judges scoring system, which it's fair to say Mook is actually adding to the excitement of the event. Yeah, it was definitely, it's definitely for the players to take a few more rests on entering on their attacks. They don't have to worry about being tagged for maybe a PSS kick or a, a check. But we have seen headshots and body shots which would have scored if the referees or corner judges were at a proper angle. So I think it's fair to say that neither system is foolproof. No, neither system is foolproof. Kind of maybe a little bit of a fair balance, maybe what the judges didn't pick up in, in the old days, the PSS also doesn't pick up if it, the foot hasn't hit in the same way. Well, this is a tremendous match, his second great final at this event. Exciting to watch, exciting for everybody for their worth of delays this morning. Tries to double. And because she took a lead after Ruth proclaimed that she was being held. These two actually fought each other in the Olympics in London. First match. Wang from Korea going on to take the gold medal. And Ruth only losing 4-3 on that occasion. Maybe she had passed, maybe she picked up that, that Olympic medal as well. Just the fine margins amongst the top athletes in the world. But these qualifications, this event, even the uh, World Team Championships has um, points awarded to it. So the athletes will pick some points which will help them towards seeding towards Rio 2016. Yeah, it's a G2 event in the, in the WCF rankings. Personally, not a fan of it being involved. Completely different dynamic to an individual event. That's a fair point. That's a fair observation. But I think that it's nice to see the players have been rewarded for this action, albeit in a different format from their regular Taekwondo competition. Most competitions are not team events, most competitions are individual. One athlete in red, one athlete in blue, three rounds in two minutes. This is a team event. So this is the last part of the first round. Just over 10 seconds remaining. Cut to the leaf by the Korean, no points. Last few seconds of this first opening round. And it's great, there is a tight, very close score, very tight score, 8-7 to Korea. So it's Luke, you think they're trying to amass some points early on. Goes in the counter punch. So 9-7 now to Korea. Yeah, Korea got hold, holding Ruth because they know she can double, but they can impede that in any way. And only give away Kyung Doris and a couple of points. It's 10-8 now, our visual just a little bit slow today. And this match, the score now is 10-8 to Korea. Again, they keep the roof out again for a good 45 seconds before thinking about changing. She's got one back though. There you go, check now. Check scores now, Shirley. Thank you very much. It's a little bit calmer now. Going to make a substitution. She's been in there for a full minute. That was a long time with this uh, format to be there. So we're making a change as well. We have a lot more changes in these knockout matches. Head shot going for Korea. Got it round the back. He scored. Might be close now into the course as well. Yeah, that point, that extends. Good strong kick to the body there. Took a while to register, but it was in there. Tries to repeat again to the other side. 
As far as I recall, he's just pretending to wait. He wants to do a punch there on the counter. Strong punch. Trying to find the simple back legs. Asprey enter. And they're attacking. They have the tendency of overshooting. Two little shake shot by the Korean. Just like that. They're not the most explosive off the mark. So if they can take the counter, it'll be more beneficial to them. That's a great observation by my co commentator, Luke Cook. And he predicted it just as it happened, bang. Korean obliged and scored that headshot on the counter. In the second round. Korea with a six point lead. Taking the match to the opponent. Triple again and goes up for a headshot. Kerr tries to reverse to the head. Tries chasing the down as to retreat it, but and nice and tried a long shot there. Maybe four square to the ground. And that should be a, a gallon drop. She attacked after Kalio. Nothing given. Did you see any warning there? Or no, there's no warning there. Yeah. The Australian referee had let that, that, let that one pass. Well, so that doesn't have too much of an impact later on. A damn or full point deduction or awarded to your opponent. <laughs> nice fast change over there by every coach. He wants to get in there, mix it up. Referee's calling Calio. Break, break. That's Korea make a change, a switch. Goes up the axe kick, doesn't get through the guard. Again, tries to ask him, loses the footing to get Kyungo. And because not being able to uh, get through the Korean defences yet. And a switch by the Koreans. Every coast as well. The second round, one minute and 30 seconds left. You see the, slow, the scoring slowing down a little bit. The action isn't. They just want to get it to the guard defensive of the rivals. It's a nice back leg there. Nice defense though, covered by the Korean girl. Coast need to try and close this margin a little bit. Looking very difficult against the Koreans who are very strong to the body. If you overcommit, as Luke said, the counter kicks come in fast to the head as well. Yeah. Yeah. Coast could do with just taking the time, and just rushing a little bit too much. A bit more movement. Picking off a simple shots, but it's not. Nine point lead is definitely going to be hard to overcome. Korea looking the stronger in this second round by far to the trooper. Ivory Coast just not seeming to get through the Korean defence. And they're getting punished if they're moving carelessly. That's a beautiful down to back kick by Korea. Looking for the extra point. Well, it needs to be a little sharper there. They need to be awarded one extra point to Korea. They have done that now. Much resumes. 24-13. Switch by Korea. Ivory Coast tries a head shot, perfect timing. Unlucky, tries to reverse to the kick at Korea, get a present kick to the head. We get the warning. Tries to close down with a punch. No scorer there. That was a great round for Korea. Yeah. Definitely what they needed. You know, the Buffy Bell can offer additional protection. They push in the wrong place. Push that very, very fast. Looking for the counter straight away. Goes up the ass kick. And it's awarded. It's awarded late. The system is a little bit slower than the uh, headshot, the headguard PSS. 
Yeah, you have to wait for the one second for the validation of the referees. Yeah, so that's the one second delay, and then obviously the, the champion gets the system. So we're looking at just over a second for a point to be registered. Korea making a change there. Strong lead now, looking to pick up their opponents when they're moving in. Nice tight defence by the Korean athlete. Yeah, he's just trying to hit him around the back. Nice double, nice double. Yeah, stay tight. Nice double. Just wondering how long Ruth's going to stay in. They'll leave her for a long time, she seems to be breathing heavily. I think the Ivory Coast team are overly dependent on her, but that might be a weakness. She needs to come out now, get some rest. She's indicating to switch. It's taken a while. She's absolutely out on the feet. She needs the Ivory Coast, if they've got any chance of getting success, need her in that last minute of this match. Just wondering how much that, that last semi final took out of Ivory Coast. Obviously, only the men's final in between. Korea have had a little bit longer. Yeah, 15 minutes recovery time after the action, after 15 minutes high intensity action. Very difficult, very intense for the players as it is for the commentators' voices. They're very happy with the way things are going. Is it a 17 points up? Two minutes, we've already dropped off the clock. Ivory Coast need to take it to Korea, but also know that if they do that, they're risking being countered. They can't play the counter game against the Koreans. Yeah, there's not really much, enough time. Drake can bounce it out, take off 10, 15 seconds before being penalised. Strong shot to Boy by Korea. They're not overly trying to engage now. Protect the lead needs to be. There's a switch there. Look at that girl get oh, that one. straight in there, goes to the ice kick and stumbles in the process. Did he connect to a headshot? Gamjil for evasion, that's a bit extreme. That if somebody came running on me, I think I would have been uh, trying to get out of the way of it. So, full point Gamjil there. Clear change as well. He comes roof again. This is really overuse of one player, in my opinion, Luke. Yeah. It's very hard to go with the team around one player. You need maybe two or three others that can support. Here we get Kyungo for going to the floor. The teammates are trying their best. Goes up behind high for the high draw and scores it. Ruth is strong for the body. She is really all out. Goes for the axe kick. And she's a very strong girl as Ruth. She's limping. She's limping. She's going to give it everything. They, they look at the limp on that girl there. She is really giving everything for this team. And he's spending way too much time on the uh, in the contest area. Let's kick again from Korea. Yeah, he's given. 23 point lead now. The scoreboard in the arena actually says 40 to 19. You all want it at home? Oh, it's just great in itself. That's it. 40 20 is the actual score. 40 20. 40 23 with a headshot. Well done, Ivory Coast. If they've got any chance of getting back into the game, they've got to be doing that a hell of a lot. Yeah, maybe they can find, let's find one shot, a bit more extra power. They can knock one of these career players around. They can beat 10 points and actually bring straight back in. It's not going to happen in this pairing, though. Korea scores a point to the body. Yeah, that's a strange choice as well. Oh, smashing counter back kick. Not awarding any points, but the timing of it was perfect. If the accuracy of the target wasn't. We've got to give credit to this Korean team. They are really dominating this match. Ruth will probably spend the next whole minute and 20 seconds left in the ring. They have really depended on this girl. I think 17 points is a bit too much. To overcome in one minute against a team that is so fluent. You can see the Korean coach just out of shot. Tell her to calm down, kill the game, yeah, don't engage. 
Ruth is exhausted. She was limped off for the last time. She tries to reverse Jenny kick. Clear falls to the floor. It's brilliant that she's trying to get in there. Look at her, still trying the double, still trying the axe kick over the top. But she's out on her feet. It's a team event without a strong enough team. They've made the substitution. Maybe she'll come back in again. Maybe for the last one. Oh, Korea goes straight up for the axe kick and she gets the standing count. She's ready to carry on, but that was tremendous and obviously makes a lot of sense to make a substitution at that point. 20 point lead now by the Koreans. All credit to both teams here. The spirit is tremendous. The attitude is amazing, but the Koreans technically much more dominant and with a stronger all-round team. 20 seconds left on the clock. Korea are cruising to the World Cup title. And rightfully so, we've seen the Korean domination of Taekwondo being reduced over the last few years. But in this team event for the women, they have done tremendously well. It goes off the headshot. There's a Kongo in the headshot there, three points awarded to Korea. 23 point gap now. And who's going to come in for the last five? Catches. Maybe a consolation point there. Goes up the axe kick. And that's it. It's amazing spirit. Fought to the last second, even though there are 22 points down. What a tremendous exhibition of Taekwondo. Congratulations to Korea. Congratulations to Ivan Coast. Spirit and determination of both teams was overwhelming. I am so impressed by these two ladies' teams, Ivory Coast and Korea. Korea winning the World Team Championships and World Cup Champions 2014 Korea. We've got to give a mention to the Ivory Coast. They were phenomenal.